So as you can see, I do not have a mic. Um, that's the bad news that I forgot my mic back at my house. Um, but the good news is that now I don't have to have 5,000 million years of bloopers of me trying to get the mic to balance on the thing. But the bad news is that the audio quality might not be so good, so... Hello again everyone and welcome back to A Little Catholic Boost, a daily reflection on the readings for Mass. Thank you so much for being here. I truly feel blessed to have you and I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to pray with me. Our meditation for today is going to be from the first reading, which is from the book of Jeremiah. So today we are back at it again with another somber reading from our Old Testament prophets. We love that. I feel like a lot of us can relate a lot to, you know, the first kind of half of this reading where we see Jeremiah lamenting with the people about, you know, you look over there and there's people starving to death and you look over here and there's people who are getting murdered and then even the people who are faithful are falling and struggling and it's kind of relatable to our world right now where we just look around and you open a newspaper and there's problems you look at the news there's problems there's problems in illness and politically and just all sorts of things morality even so i know i've talked in other videos um i don't know where they are so sorry one of my older videos <laughs> about kind of how to deal with hard times or you know how to give those hard times to god and that sort of thing so i'm not going to say that again today but i think that in this reading we get a really really good example about how to pray during these times of like distress or despair in our lives. In this reading, Jeremiah is actually quoting directly what our Lord told him to tell the people. So what we don't see is right before we're given the scripture reading, the Lord says, so say to the people this, or so tell the people this. And that's the reading that we have for today. I wanna to focus on the second half of this reading. I mean, the words are not minced in regards to the frustration and anger and sorrow that the person making this prayer is saying. Even going so far as to say things like, where are you, Lord? Do you not care for us? Do you not love us? Did you not make a covenant with us? Really just despairing in their misery. And like, is there no end to our misery? And I think in this, our Lord is just giving us this direct insight into how he desires us to pray through hard times like this. Our Lord doesn't want us to put on some sort of facade whenever we come to him in prayer. Like when we're sitting there praying, we're like, oh, I'm talking to Jesus. So I have to be like, hello, Jesus, please pardon my past offenses. And you are almighty and all glorious and all that stuff like when we're praying when we're sorrowful and when we are in distress or when we're angry our lord wants us to tell him that our lord desires a real relationship with us and a real relationship includes speaking truthfully honestly from your heart about how you feel i'm telling you some of the most productive and worthwhile prayer times that i've had are ones where, looking back on it, I sounded like a whiny baby, or I sounded like just a grumpy child throwing a tantrum about not knowing what was going on with my life. He wants our whole heart. He wants us to be honest with him. If we're angry, show that to him. If we're frustrated, if we're sad, tell him don't mince words when you're talking to god and some people will be like he already knows the desires of my heart blah 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 i'll just tell him about my intentions but he wants our whole heart he wants all of those emotions he wants us to have a real relationship with him and we can't have that real relationship with him if we're just like trying to save face in front of him so today i just want to encourage you to in these times where we're all just stressed and frustrated maybe even we're taking it out on God or we're mad or we're really sad about something. Take a moment today to just have a really honest prayer with God. Just lay all of the emotions on the table. I promise you, you won't believe how fruitful 
praying to our Lord like that is. All right, you guys, that is all that I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please make sure that if you like this video, you hit that like button. And if you want more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when I post. We are posting every Tuesdays and Thursdays and some other random day of the week, who knows? We also make sure that you follow me on Instagram, which I'm really bad at, but you know, it's more entertaining that way, right? I'm very honest. But above all, more than anything else, I really truly hope that you have a wonderful day. May God bless you and may we all ever grow in love with our Lord. Bye. I'm scared the wind is like screwing up the audio.